So today I'm going to try if this hybrid mold will work. So remember last time I used this open pour mold for the lazy frog and also this wedge design so I can get the plasticizer into this tight space. Uh, but the problem with this is it's so much flash and I have to trim afterwards. So in order to improve that, I come up with this top cover. So once you put it in, it becomes an injection mold. Here is how I create the top part. First, we create a block by extruding the bottom profile from the top surface of the original open pore mold. We use the bottom profile because we don't want any details from the top. Now let's hide the original mold. Once we have the block, we then cut out the wedges and the body from the block. Here we use combine function. First, we select the target body and then select the tool bodies and you can select multiple bodies at once. In the operation, select cut. Since I already did that, so let's just move the timeline. Lastly, I use the hole function to create a sprue. So there you have it the top part of the closed injection mold. Now back to the workshop. So the idea here is to pour the belly light color first and then the, pour a little bit of the darker color and then close off the entire mold, make it an injection mold and then shoot plaza saw into this mold. So let's see if it works. Springtime. Well, I put the injector here to soak out some sunlight, make it warmer, so it will not take out the heat from the plaza saw. Okay, it's ready. Okay, let's do it. The plaza saw. The dark one is a little cool, but it's okay. Maybe heat up a little bit while I'm doing this. So, 30 seconds. I guess if I do the injection, it should go to the tight space, not as hard. So we'll see. It's hot. Okay. Oh, now I have to climb down. Maybe it's already full. What do you think? I think I failed. We'll check it. See you in a bit. I think this failed. Because the flashing came out big time.
not bad. Well, just need to clean the flashing. Next time I'll clamp down the the mold. If I clamp the mold, there shouldn't be any, or at least not as much. And most like this, I can just pull it off. This one, it's good. All right, I'm back. So actually trimming was not too bad because the flashing was only a thin layer between the top and bottom molds. So I just need to pull the trimming out. Uh, I only need to cut a little bit. I actually, I leave this uh, flashing here because it serves as a web. Um, so it, it, it looks good. I didn't trim the web between the digits uh, because I think they look okay. Uh, although the real frogs don't have webs on the fingers or digits. Anyway, it looks good and on top. Um, it's more complete. And also the layer is very clearly defined. Uh, I didn't pour enough, overfill the mold, so it leaves a big dent. Uh, but it's okay, I can fill up with some floating material. So it looks very good, uh, in my opinion, uh, compared to the original one. The original one, if you look from the side, the top portion is uh, not as complete. You see the leg? Anyway, fish will only see from bottom, so they should both uh, work okay. And uh, I want to show you something, some mistake I did. So remember earlier when I heat up the dark color plastisol? Actually, I did not have to reheat that portion because I overheated and it became too hot and I didn't measure the temperature before I inject. So as a result, it was too hot for this mold to handle, this PLA 3D printed mold. So it only take up uh, around 320 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, it's too hot when I poured the plastisol. So you can see it's like this bandit deformed. I tried to fix it. it didn't didn't work so I will throw this away and print another set that's the beauty of the DIY mold you can make as many as you want all right that's some lesson learned so this mold I would say it's a success it's a hybrid mold Open pour, you can do it as an open pour mold as a result, or a closed injection mold. Hope you like this video and you learned something useful from it. Please subscribe if you want to see more like this. See you next time. Peace out.